Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, February 13th. And a big story is we definitely got some spring weather coming up, especially late this week, but even more so for this weekend into uh, early the following week. We could see temperatures well into the 50s and would not even be surprised if this uh, outlook holds that we could see some temperatures up into the 60s, especially if the European model is correct. So again, for the headlines, we got maybe some snow showers uh, later Tuesday into early Thursday mainly uh, to the west of 131 where they could see some minor accumulations might even be enough to prompt a uh, winter weather advisory for there but for inland areas most of the mac area may be a flurry or snow shower uh, later tuesday into thursday morning but again overall looks like we'll be around or in the 40s uh, here the next couple of days before that cold front comes through a couple of chilly days and then i think as we get towards friday we may be up into the 40s then over the weekend i think we're going to see some real warm temperatures in the 50s and wouldn't even be surprised to see temperatures up into the 60s. Again, we'll have to wait in a couple days so we get a little closer to the event. Sometimes they like to uh, pump the ridge a little bit too much in the east on these warm uh, uh, spells that they predict. They're a little bit overly uh, aggressive. But you can see on the 6 to 10 and 8 to 14 day outlooks, all in very warm conditions across much of the eastern two thirds. And just when we uh, think we're seeing signs of a very cold Arctic uh, outbreak that just goes by the wayside, and we'll show you that in a minute here. If we look at the normals of the day, our normal high is 31, the normal low is 13. You can see we still can get awfully cold this time of year, 21 degrees below zero in 1889. If we look at the uh, warmest temperatures and coldest temperatures across the lower 48 yesterday, 91 degrees at Laredo and Catula, Texas, and the cold spot, minus 31 degrees at Escort, Maine. If we look at temperatures around the MAC area for Sunday, you can see temperatures pretty nice in the low 40s for the most part. And again, there were some uh, decent amounts of precipitation over the last couple of days in the form of rain and snow showers. And you can see now we've popped back above normal. And boy, we're going to go well above normal by, the, by this time next week. And if we look at conditions around the area this morning, temperatures mainly in the upper 20s across the area. And if we look at the uh, radar, very uh, clean across much of the Great Lakes, except for Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. And then there's a pretty good storm that's uh, going to affect much of New England here over the next 24 hours. But for us, looks like uh, pretty decent weather. And you can see on this morning's weather map, we got a high pressure system in control of the area. We got a system where we're, we're going to watch drop down to our northeast. And that's been the case with many of these uh, clipper type systems. They've been dropping well off to our north giving much of the uh, upper peninsula, northern lower Michigan into New England quite a bit of wintry weather, but not so much here for many portions of the MAC area. And by tomorrow, you can see that low pressure system now dropping down to the south. And again, that'll bring some pretty good snows off into the uh, northern part of the state. But for us, just trace amounts as that cold front sinks south, we'll see some lake effect, especially to the west of uh, US 131 and into the UP. And then of course, lots of uh, winter activity up into the northeastern part of the United States. Big fair weather cell will be moving into the center of the country. And that's going to really bring a pretty good zonal flow after a couple of cold days on the on the uh, uh, eastern side of this high pressure. Once that begins to move the east, we're going to get a nice return flow and we're going to have lots of warm air flood right into much of the country here as we get towards the end of the week into much of next week. As far as precipitation over the next seven days, again, mainly off to the north, uh, and northeast of the uh, MAC area. But again, not a lot of uh, precipitation there. But uh, again, much of this will be in the form of snow with several inches possible. Again, maybe just a few uh, snow flurries here as we get into Tuesday, uh, into uh, early Thursday for lower Michigan. But again, not much in the way of accumulations. And as far as snowfall, you can see up across northwest lower Michigan and northeastern portions of the UP again. That will be the favored spot for the uh, more significant snow over the next 72 hours. And if we look at the uh, MGO, uh, last week, uh, Friday or Thursday, we were looking at this going deeply into A, which we are, but we expected it to go into uh, phase one, phase two. These are all very cold phases, eight, one, and two. But you can see now the newest MGO is forecasting that to crash right back into neutral and then back into the warm phases again. So again, we just don't see any uh, uh, ability for the cold to really stick around much here in the Great Lakes. So again, it looks like uh, there's no really good signs that we're going to have any significant warming. In fact, this is the forecast of temperatures from next Tuesday. You can see the uh, shaded areas as the GFS showing 50 degree temperatures up into much of the uh, area, all the way up into Saginaw Bay, up towards Manistee. 
which you can see in the red, this is the uh, European model. They're forecasting 55 to 60 all the way up into northern lower Michigan and temperatures well into the 60s across much of the EMAC area. And it looks like uh, the GFS would put us about 50 degrees or better uh, beginning Saturday and lasting into the middle of the following week. And the European model gives us around 50 on Saturday and probably 60 or better through the middle of next week. So again, some pretty warm temperatures if the models hold. Again, we'll wait and get a little bit closer uh, before we really get too uh, gung-ho about this. But right now, this coming weekend looks like it'll be dry, lots of sunshine, and temperatures at the very least in the mid-40s to the mid-50s, and we'll go from there. If we look at the uh, weather watch this morning, nothing going on for much of the Great Lakes, just some gale warnings across the uh, upper lakes. But again, a pretty uh, calm and tranquil pattern setting up, and it looks like we're going to have a really, really nice run of spring weather coming up as we get in towards the weekend and through much of next week. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.